Welcome back, everyone. And I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So today, uh, my video is going to be about Alien Romulus. So the trailer, the teaser trailer came out the other day. So I'm not going to show the teaser trailer. It's pretty short. But um, I'm going to get into what kind of my expectation, what I what I feel like this movie is going to about, be about or could be about. Okay. Um, these are just my opinions, my thoughts. So, but the, there's one very important thing about this trailer that they sh that um, they showed me is that man, if they do this right, sci-fi horror is back because in this trailer they show you nothing but give you everything, and I like that. I like that. And another good thing about this is now. Um, Alien, if you're not familiar with the Alien franchise, it's basically, and I'm going to say it, people. I'm going to say it. And I know a lot of people don't like when, uh, you know, Alien fans say it. Uh, it's the perfect killing machine. Supposedly. I mean, that was, it, that got out there in the ether for a reason. Because that's what it was built for. Because if you go by Covenant and, um, and Prometheus, this thing was created basically to kill humanity from a from a goo. But I don't know if they're going that direction because um, with with this movie here, Romulus, it it seems like it's set between um, Alien, the original Alien, and Aliens, the sequel. And I'm going to get into that a little bit too. But um, I did like how in, in the trailer itself, if you watch the trailer, you feel it. it's dark. It's really dark. There's a lot of shadows because that's what made Alien the first one really good. They did things with a lot of shadows, dark like dark hues to the scene. Because if if you look at like um when Ridley Scott actually cared about his work and came up with original ideas, because remember this is from the mind of Ridley Scott, and I'm not knocking Ridley Scott. At, well, I kind of am, but this. This was the kickoff to your career, kind of like, you know, and the darker tones. And it's like, when are we going to be able to realize in any horror movie? Like, let's say you're the character in a horror movie. Don't stand in open doorways. If there's any opening, step back. Always make sure you look up. Don't stand under vents. It's the, you know, the cliches about the alien franchise. Like it's almost like you, you know, but, but certain ones like alien, you didn't know what was going on. And even in aliens, um, when they were going through the, when they were, they were seeing them on the meter on the, what was the, you could read heat, you know? And they were like, wait, where are they? And they're looking around. Where are they? Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff coming. You know, they're looking on their little meters and stuff, and then it's over, t they're over top, which was insanely crazy in that. But uh, with like aliens, you didn't know where the thing, that thing, the xenomorph, the perfect killing machine, saying again, was. You had no idea that thing could be anywhere. So that's another element that you need to bring to Romulus. Because you have to, you have to have your audience sitting there watching and living through those characters, right? The point of view, right? And it's got to, like that. You want to make this movie where we're not, we're not just watching it. We're feeling it. We're going along for the ride. And the good thing about like aliens, you never, they're so unpredictable. They are so, they could come out of nowhere. You could be in a lit, you know, they've really never done it. Yeah, they have. Like, you could be in a lit room, and that thing could be in there just sitting there just ready to stalk you. Because that, that, that's how the xenomorphs are. They stalk you. If they're supposed to be the per perfect killing machine, then they want to have a little fun, too. So I do, I do like certain scenes when they show, like, the face huggers. I don't know if they're going to go with just one alien. And then they're going to build up to multiple, obviously, with the xenomorph or the face huggers that come through out of the little, <laughs> I always call it the eggplant, but it comes out of their, uh, the, the egg. And that's how they, they drop and 
an alien egg into you. And then it, that's why they call them chest busters. And you bust out. But I, I, I like, I, I like how the way they're going. And I like how they didn't do like, see, the problem is sometimes when you get too many big, big name actors and actresses in the movie, they gotta get, they gotta get paid. So it takes away stuff that you got to do with cinematography, the extra lighting stuff. So that budget goes to like those, those big name actors, you know, and they kind of with, um, what was it Prometheus? They had big, they had Idris Elba, they had Charlie Theron, they had Numi Rappus, but they still made it work because that's when uh, Ridley Scott was kind of flying high, so he could get that extra budget for that. But I don't want that anymore. So I mean, people knew about Sigourney Weaver, right? She was up and coming actress. Well, she was kind of. Okay, but then she did Alien and Aliens, and then it kind of, you know, they were all like, like Charles Dutton. He was the, he was uh, what the show The Rock, like, and what was that Alien Three? So, just keep it how this is because I, and another thing that I don't want, I, I, I know this video is all over the place. I do apologize because I'm, I'm excited about it, but another thing that I don't want, I don't want the cliche of the guy, the guy or the heroes they're in a in a hallway and then somebody's doing something and then i don't want the it's behind me isn't it horror i don't want that that's that's so old why why are we why are we still doing that i want to have it where it's from every angle you don't know where it's coming from and it's not a point of view on one character because sometimes in a horror that gives it away when you're just focusing on one character right there you'd be like oh yeah he's about to die or she's about to die I want to have it where in this movie where it's so dark, not like super dark, but not well lit. And you don't know where it's coming from. I want that bone chilling aspect of alien to come back. That where you're, you're sitting there and you're like, dude, don't, don't, don't. And you're sitting there. Don't go there. Don't go there. But you know what? It's coming from somewhere else because it throws you off. And to be honest with you, I think this movie from the trailer, I know it's a short teaser. It's that thing's like a teardrop in the ocean trailer. Like, but it does like the, the steam from the vents coming down and the misdirection because that's what you want to do in this, in this movie. If you want to beat out all the other elements and re erect, uh, resurrect the franchise, you got to bring some new elements. You got to bring some uh, more angles. And I know they're doing a lot of practical effects. I don't know if they're doing guys back in suits. But, well, you could do a lot of stuff with, like, green screen. But uh, but, but I, I like the built sets. It looks like the sets are built, which is great. And um, it's it's just the, the angle that I want to see see them use, the, the whole bone chilling where you're sitting there. And then when you get out of the theater, you're like, you start to think like I, 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 that that's that's a couple hundred years into the future, right? This this can't happen, right? Or can it? You know, it's one of those. You know what I mean? You got you got to be. And um, another thing too that I do like about what I've seen from the trailer and what's um what I've been reading about reading about it, like a, they're doing more like practical effects which is good and that they're they're actually relying on like the lighting the deeper tones like you can do that you can do that stuff and it looks more crisp and better than running through like da vinci resolve or something like that that's the art of filmmaking this if this is if this is good if it's okay even it's okay and they get people in the seats to go see this word of mouth is going to, I mean, it's going to run wild. And sometimes when you have lower budgets, cause I don't think this is through the roof budget. Let's be honest. But sometimes it, it's, it's okay to do it. It may, it shows your passion for movies like this. Cause this is an important fa franchise. And another thing too, I do want to say is, I don't, I really, even though I do enjoy the movies, I think that 
like the Alien versus Predator saga or whatever that was. I liked a lot of them, some of them, well, a lot of them, but I really do think it did uh, do think that it hurt both franchises. It really did. Like it was cool, maybe for some one, it should have been like a one-off movie, and then you could win. But they went a little bit, and it just they forgot the essence of both franchises. Like one's the Predator Hunter, one's the other per, Perfect Killing Machine. I'm saying it again, you know, just keep them separated because you see how Prey did by itself. There were no xenomorphs in that, and it did great. Prey is great now that it's green lighted for another one, but they're jumping in the future on that one. I think they should have stayed around that time. But that's a, that's another franchise. But like, this, let's bring it back to the roots, and I want it to be where it gets to the point where where the character or the the heroes have you feel in the movie like they have no shot at something. Like, how do you deal with something like this? It's almost like you putting yourself into that movie, you know, in, or into that situation. Like, I literally have no shot. This is my last dish, ditch effort for survival. That's what Alien, that's what Alien, the first one, brought to you. You know? It's like when you were watching that movie, you're like, I don't know what, what is happening. Like everybody's dying. There's this thing in the in up there in the in the ceiling. It's in the vents. What is going on? You have to add that element, that confusion, that fear. You have to put it in to the audience's mind. Like these characters literally have no shot. It's gonna take straight will and heart to possibly even kill one of them. But it looks like when that that, uh, that bin drop and then they run around the corner, there's going to be a uh, I, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Characters, and then you have the xenomorph. So if those things hatch and the the chest breakers come out. I'm pretty sure they'll get it done. Now I'm just I'm not spoiling anything. I don't know this is gonna happen. I'm just hypothetically. So even if you get even if the face hugger gets with two of them and wrap and wraps around and then plants the egg and you get two but oh geez. Even one. And that's the element that you want to bring. So you're gonna focus so much on these characters, which is good. Keep it small, keep it clean. You want to bring the horror back to this franchise. And right now, from that, it's so short, but it it does look like it's being handled with care. And the good thing is, uh, um, I don't want to say the name right, uh, say their name wrong, but uh, Fady Alvarez did uh, what? Evil Dead and uh, Don't Breathe. So already knows horror, already knows the lighting effects, practical effects, real cinematography, different camera angles, like using different camera angles, not too much CGI. I like that. It's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I really do. But bring back that where where you get out of the theater. And you and like I said before, you're asking whoever you went with, your friend, uh, spouse, whatever, significant other, like, yeah, I hope that really doesn't happen because... I just hope so. But it's a movie, right? Just a movie. Just a movie. That's what you want people to be saying. But anyway, that's all I got uh, rambled on a little bit there. But like, comment, and subscribe. And I want everyone to subscribe. It's Forgotten Circus. All it takes is one little click. Let's get this up to 1K. And I do mean everyone.